I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning time that God has given us to come in His presence. For our meditation today, let's turn to it. Book of Daniel, chapter 3, verse 27. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors being gathered together saw these men, upon whose bodies the fire had no power, nor was an hair of their head singed, neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Today we are meditating upon the beauty of the child of God, whose hair is not singed by the smell of the fire of the furnace. As we have read in the scriptures, we know about the incident where these three young men, who were in captivity, stood for their faith. The future seemed bleak for Israel at that moment as they could not see any ray of hope before them. Their own city, Jerusalem, had been destroyed. Their holy temple was in ruins. Many of their own people had compromised the faith to set in with the new situation as it is safe for them and their generations. It is the same with many believers today. Many have compromised with the world thinking that it is better not to offend others as we have to be at peace with all the people as long as we are on this earth. But look at Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. They knew for sure that Almighty God of Israel is still on the throne. As all the people one by one were bowing down before the image that the king had erected, the pressure upon these youngsters was too much to resist. But they chose to remain faithful to the Lord, their king, who had chosen them, chosen them to be his people. Even though they were in captivity, they knew that they are still God's chosen ones. And now it is the right time to prove to the world that God alone is worthy to be worshipped. They were not looking for a deliverance from the furnace, as we can see from their words that they spoke with confidence that they knew God of Israel is able to deliver them from the burning fiery furnace and from the hand of the king. But even if God does not help them, they were not ready to worship the image. This is the true faith of the chosen ones that will shake the foundations of the empires and kingdoms and nations. Their faith is not in the deliverance of God, but in God who, for who He is. He alone is worthy for worship and praise. A person with such faith will never bow down before anything other than Almighty God. He will not, never compromise with the world in his faith. Today, many people believe in the Lord that he is able to deliver them from their problems. They have the faith that God will perform miracles for them. Let us not trust God for what he will be, but for what he is. Before such faith, even the fire of the furnace has to cool down. It could not touch even their hair. This is the testimony of the church from its beginning. Nothing could deter the faith of the saints. They were ready to face persecution for their faith in true God. They were ready to embrace death to seal their faith with blood. Heaven is proud of such valiant soldiers whom church refers to as the blessed martyrs. Let us analyze ourselves. Do we expect deliverance from our problems? Or are we ready to face everything, even death, for our Lord? Let us rest in His promise that our hairs are numbered. The fire of this world cannot destroy it. The more the heat of the furnace increases, it increases the beauty of the people who are walking in it. So let us pray to the Lord to give us the strength to stand before the enemy and his tactics without compromise. 
Let the world realize that our Lord God alone is worthy of worship. Let us serve the Lord till our last breath in the midst of all problems and persecutions. Let our beauty be in increased day by day. May the good Lord help us for that. Let's pray. Father, we praise you and thank you for this beautiful opportunity. Thank you for this beautiful day. Thank you, Lord, for opening our eyes. Help us. Help us to stand up for the faith. Lord, help us to love you more for who you are and not for what you have given us in this material world. Help us to know you more. Even though we have to pay a heavy price, we know you are there. You are our everything, no matter what circumstance it may be. We know you are there and that's enough. We are blessed. Help us to enjoy your presence and stand up for the faith so that others too may see your glory manifested. In Jesus' most holy name we pray. Amen. May the Lord help us to know our Lord more closely for who He is. No matter wherever we are, He is there beside us. May the Lord bless us. Our Lord is coming very soon. Maranatha.